first episode of Silicon Valley's Got Talent, where you get to enjoy and experience artistic expression at its finest, transcending geographies, genres, and generations. I'm your host, Rishi Kumar. Since the summer of 2012, we have been running a monthly event set in Saratoga Village and also a weekly TV show. Our weekly TV show was called Saratoga's Got Talent back then. We have evolved, and a new avatar was very much needed. Thus, the name change to Silicon Valley's Got Talent. Our TV show will showcase the best of talents that the Bay Area offers. Our show incorporates live recordings from our open mic monthly event, interviews of our star cast, and live studio performances. We also highlight upcoming Bay Area shows and community events, including music schools that are helping local talent thrive. Let me introduce you to one of our best talents, Alina Ulsukov. Alina has a technical degree, like many of us folks living in Silicon Valley. And uh, she actually works as an accountant, a senior accountant at Elaine Pinel Re Realtors right here in Saratoga. And, uh, you know, but she's no ordinary bean counter. She's got some special magic, and you just got to put her on stage, and you literally need to have the fire trucks on standby when she's up on stage. And you will see what I'm talking about. So welcome, Elena. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Thank you very much for the, for the invite. Good morning, Bay Area. Um, my name is Elena, and I'm happy to be here. Thank, thank you for being with us, Elena. So Alina, tell us something about yourself to our viewers. You know, what do you like to do for fun? A little bit of a background, that would be very good. Thank you, Rishi. I, I was born in Kiev, which is the capital of Ukraine. Then I moved to Moscow, Russia. I worked at the Institute of Nuclear Research. I'm a computer engineer by the degree. And um, then 15 years ago, I immigrated along with my family, my little son and my husband to the California, and I'm happy here. I changed my occupation to um, accounting, but I, kept, I keep dancing. I dance all my life, and this is what I do for fun, and this is my sport. I do dance for seven years, the ballet dance style, and five years ago, I started Bollywood, and recently, I'm a student of Evergreen, um, dancing studio, Paratnatyam, and I just started Katak a month ago. I found a beautiful lady. She's from India, and she actually was one of the judges, India Can Dance, so I, I got very lucky to find her. So that's what I'm doing. Another of my fun is costuming. Mostly all of the costumes and the one which you will see on me today made by these hands. So this is another of my passions. Thank you. Yes, Rishi. You know, Alina, this is this is incredible. You know, it only happens in Silicon Valley. You know, Ukraine, born in Ukraine, and then here you are. You know, really enjoying Bollywood. You know, how's that experience been for you? Well, I'm just following the um, the the latest trend. If you will look at the Bollywood movies, all the background dancers are actually from Ukraine and Russia. They're have dark hair, they have blonde hair, they don't even try to look like Indian ladies. So um, this is not a big surprise. Russia always been interested in something much more exotic, and it's nothing more exotic than Bollywood. So today, uh, I think you're going to do a little dance for us. Is that right? Yes. Today I'm going to uh, present um, my humble try to uh, uh, for, for the newly released uh, movie, Egg Thought Tiger, which made by uh, Salman Khan, and this is the d d uh, song called Masha Allah, which is, I do believe, translate from Hindi is How Beautiful. Is that right? Yes, Masha absolutely, Allah. yes. Yeah, it's something like that. Yeah, but um, I found it on the Facebook. I have a huge network of uh, Indian friends on the Facebook. Even the people I never met before, they're just sending me the new songs and new YouTube videos because they know that I'm, um, I'm interested. 
So when I looked up that song on the YouTube, I was a little bit upset because whoever did the choreography probably never seen a proper way of dancing Arabic style belly dance because El Habibi is the very old tune which been used by the belly dancer around the globe for many, many years as the classic of the classics. It just been a little bit upgraded to the Bollywood version. And interesting enough, I think they had run out of the words, so they incorporated some Russian words, which is Pazvanimne, Pazvanimne, Pazvanimne Daliko, which means call me, call me, call me far away. I was totally surprised. That's very funny. So <coughs> I'll try to show today how the Arabic style, the basic, basic Arabic style belly dance is supposed to be done in that scene at the movie. So how the Katrina Kaif is supposed to move. So I'll, I'll try. Fantastic, fantastic. I'm Thank looking you. forward to that, Alina. And Pazvaninia. 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 Call me. Yeah. Call me. And, you know, and Dasbe, Dasbedania. Oh, you know, that's Dasbedania, everyone Dubai. knows. If yeah. they had used that, they would be in big trouble, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> because yeah. it doesn't quite go in. But Pazvaninia, nobody knows about it. So it's kind of okay for them to use that. Yeah, I think, I think the, the singer was asking the background girls, I'll say something which can, you know, fill out the gap. In, in the song, so that's probably what they told him. <laughs> or maybe they want him to call her or something like that. Maybe that's a story behind it, but that's what it is. Okay, so let's uh, see you dance now, Alina. Thank you.
fabulous, Alina. Loved your moves and energy. I interestingly, this song you dance to is the very latest track from Bollywood. You know, I, I can't keep up with everything Bollywood churns out. How do you really do that? You know, how do you keep up? Uh, thank you, Risha. This is a very interesting question. And I have, uh, I think, um, the answer to that is I do browse YouTube on a nightly basis. I'm serious. I just go and uh, sit a couple hours and I do the search, the latest Hindi, the latest Tamil, the latest uh, Malayam song or, or dance, the latest movie. And then if I can't find anything interesting, I usually send a request to my friends at the Facebook. I know people, it's more than 200 people I worked with uh, last year for the Gunga Swaram. Um, and actually, uh, we all keep in touch on the Facebook. So they know I dance. They send me a link sometimes. Look at this, look at this. That's how I found, mashallah, actually. Somebody sent it to me, and I looked at it. It's very interesting. Bollywood produce movies like once a month. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing. Hollywood, not even close to, to that number. It's, it's just fantastic. So I think if I would, if it, that would be my profession, I would have a perfect material to, to, to get, to update, you know, the, the new dances like on a monthly basis. This is, this is just amazing. So the movie which I'm, I'm doing dance today too is actually being released on August 15. When I first time seen that recording, the official video, it was on only partial video then, it was a couple of months ago. So how they find it, where they find it, how it leaked out, I don't know. But yes, I, I can keep track of the newest ones. And of course, um, I go back sometimes to the golden era of the Bollywood. I simply love those songs and those dances. Because when I w was growing up in Russia, the pair Tarmendra and Hema Malini was considered to be the best of the best, the genius, geniuses of the geniuses, and um, um, Raj Kapoor was the biggest star of Russia back in 60s and 70s. So sometimes I take my material from the old Bollywood movies. Sure. I still have a lot of uh, Russian friends who come out and they actually sing these old Raj Kapoor numbers to me, you know. Mm -hmm. It's rather interesting. Na, 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 na. That's right, mm -hmm. Mera Juta Hai Japani. Uh -huh. So, going back to your dance, you know, you did an amazing Bharatnatyam dance at Saratoga's Got Talent annual competition. How was your experience? Tell us something about it. Um, experience was just, you know, I was speechless, seriously, because of three simple reasons. First reason, because I was so happy something like this is uh, going on in Saratoga. I live in Saratoga, I shop in Saratoga, I work in Saratoga, so I was absolutely happy to see that kind, that size of event going on. Second reason, it was so many absolutely beautifully talented kids and adults and teenagers seriously playing pianos, singing, dancing and uh, I knew I have no chances to win <laughs> looked at them and compare but I was absolutely happy to be a part of that event and the third reason now Sirio Saratoga knows me I'm kind of a celebrity I'm going to the Starbucks and oh I know you I've seen you dance I know you I've seen you dance it is absolutely amazing feeling absolutely amazing so I loved it. And also, I've been um, a part of the mini competition, and I won a second place. And I still keep that award framed on the wall of my office, <laughs> in my office. So um, I think it's absolutely great, great that we started it here in Saratoga, because I want the city to thrive. I want the city to be alive again and the people want to hear music and see dances. And actually, I know that the people will be willing to put money in it. I know that. It's, it must be done. Sure, sure. It's rather interesting because you're a celebrity in Saratoga, 
And you know, while I was up on stage on June 22nd at our talent competition, people were really throwing tomatoes at me. Oh, and no. No, really, because now when they see me in Saratoga, they're like, make sure you don't get up on stage ever again. That's what they tell me. But that tells me the quality of your talent. You know, well, Elena. I can tell you, like the Aerosmith guy said once, it is no such thing as a bad publicity. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> so please continue, dance. I enjoyed it last time. That's great. So Elena, um, one final question for you. Perhaps you can answer it in short. We are sort of running out of time. But uh, what's your, what would you like to uh, leave the viewers with? You know, give us a tip about what makes a good dance. It's supposed to be organically together. The costume, the move, moves supposed to match the song, the tune, the rhythm. So basically the Abhinaya, which is the facial expression, and the hands and the feet, it all should be one image. So the viewer supposed to think, okay, oh, that music will, will, will run again, and they would know, oh, this is the Arabic, Arabic belly dance, okay? They will have no doubts what it is. So if you're still confusing what you see, and you, then it's probably a wrong choreography. So it's supposed to be totally authentic. I'm against any uh, combined styles, any fusions, because I think this is only for the, for the students who continue learning the proper way of dancing. That's great. Great tips, Alina. Thank, thank you so much for joining us today. Loved your fabulous dance and getting to know you just a little bit. All the best with everything. Hope to see you back soon at our monthly events with your fabulous energy and graceful dance moves. Thank you very much, Rishi. Thank you. What you all just experienced was the magic of our star performer, Alina Yeltsukov. Our TV show alternates between recordings of our open mic monthly event and such studio interviews that highlight our best talents. Are you interested in being featured in our show? Find us via our website, siliconvalleystalent.com, or better, just join our monthly events. Why don't we provide you some glimpses of some of our amazing performers from our monthly event? The, these events are held the first Saturday every month at Blue Rock Shoot in Saratoga. We are essentially a kids and family friendly talent show where anything and everything goes. Our first hour is typically set for little kids only. And lately, we even do a mini competition giving out prizes. And did I tell you there is no entry fee? You know, we encourage all forms of artistic expression and creativity. We love live music, originals, covers, stand-up comedy, theatrical performances, poetry, and more. Come as a performer or be part of the audience, but brace yourself for a wonderful evening with lots of variety and talent, very unique to our local Silicon Valley talent tribe. This is a great opportunity for you to showcase your fine talent while sipping some fine wine, or just kick back and enjoy the performances unfold. Enough said. Let's see our performances now.
That's all we have folks. Hope you had fun. Thank you all for joining our very first episode of Silicon Valley's Got Talent. If you have questions on our talent show, our monthly event, or want to feature yourself on our show, find us via our website, siliconvalleystalent.com or via our Facebook page, facebook.com slash valleytalent. I will see you again next week with another exciting episode of Silicon Valley's Got Talent. 
where you get to enjoy and experience artistic expression at its finest, transcending geographies, genres, and generations. Thank you all.